Last week on Thursday Night Thunder, it came down to two veterans in the finals. Liquidator in the far lane, Prowler in the near lane. Watch going over No Man's Land. Prowler gets crossed up into the wall, securing James Valencourt's fourth Thunder Championship. Is he going to hold on to the flag here tonight? We find out next. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. season finale on Thursday Night Thunder. We've got 16 of the best monster trucks ready to duke it out one more time for the September season. Your current champion, James Bailey Court and Liquidator, looking to hold on to that checkered flag and carry it into the October season, but he's got 15 other trucks knocking on his back door here tonight. Looking at round one matchups, getting things kicked off. Up first, we're going to see Superman take on Wild Thing. Then Rage is going to take on Jurassic Attack, followed by Carolina Crusher taking on King Crunch in a Chevrolet matchup. And to close out the first half of round one, Monster Mutt Poodle will take on Overkill. Coming to the line first here in round one's newcomer to the scene, Jason Waddell in that 1999 skull, Wild Thing. He has now set to take on the kid who took home his first Thursday Night Thunder championship, second generation driver in Superman, Connor Legit over here in the far lane. You know he wants to get that flag back on that truck here tonight to close out the September season. Who's going on to round two? Green light going down now. Wild Thing and Superman are even down the stretch up and over the cars here. Wild Thing turns it over in the end. Jason Waddell and Wild Thing going for a wild ride there across the finish line. Not too sure who got the win. Both trucks making a great effort in this first round matchup. We're going down now to the MTA replay and try to figure out who won this race. As you can see right here down that straight chance, Wild Thing with a bobble there coming down. Watch him right here skying it out. So is Superman. Gets crossed up going across the cars. Your winner's going to be Wild Thing nonetheless after that rollover over Superman. Next up here in round one, Rudy Zilji, another man who got his first Thunder Championship this September season. He's bringing rage to the starting line. Ready to go. The truck's been beat up here recently in the last couple of weeks, but now he takes on newcomer to the MTA scene. This is Caden Wilson, the Wheelie King in Jurassic Attack, the brand new ride, made its debut this season. Who's going on to round two? Rage in Jurassic Attack. Green light goes down. Even off the start, Jurassic is pulling a lead with another wheel stand over that first jump. Pogo's it on the rear end, and the kid will put Rage on the trailer. Jurassic Attack is on next up into round two. Now, coming up in round one, it's the Battle of the Bowtie. The King Crunch Chevrolet out of Spring, Texas. Eric Latiki behind the wheel, now set to take on Matt Pendergast out of Wadesboro, North Carolina, the Carolina Crusher. He made his debut at the beginning of the September season. He's looking to put that truck in the winner's circle tonight. Eric Latiki, he debuted a couple of months ago at some of the bigger events. Which boat has taken this win? King Crunch and Carolina Crusher down the straight. Crusher's got a lead on him, trying to hold it out. And Matt Pendergast loses the body there in the shutdown area. But Carolina Crusher is your winner over the King Crunch Chevrolet as he goes on the trailer for the rest of the season. Carolina Crusher's coming back for round two. Who's he going to meet there? Because Violet Craddock's coming back in the Monster Butt Poodle. Now to take on Gavin Waddell and overkill and speaking of being overkill he's turned that truck over the last couple of weeks here on thunder the crew's got him back nuts and bolts are tight he's ready to rock and roll here in that near lane but violet craddock knows how to turn on that loud pedal there in the far lane who's it gonna be poodle and overkill down the straight stretch they go poodle pull the lead overkill's out of shape and violet craddock making easy work of the overkill forward here in the near lane. The poodle moves on into round two and overkill season is over. On the trailer he goes. Hope to see him back next season, but next up in round one, Ethan Wagner. The kid makes a huge name for himself. He's got 232 truck wins on his record and a Thunder Championship. He is now set to take on Charlie Stevens in the Blue Thunder Ford here in the far lane, who got his first Thunder win just a month or so ago. He's ready to rock and roll. Ford versus Chevrolet here in round one. Green light coming down now. The Ford got him on the line. The Chevrolet's coming back. Wagner trying to close it. He doesn't have enough. 
the Ford and Blue Thunder picks up the win over Ethan Wagner early here in round one. And that's going to hurt him in the points as he's led the overall points chase this entire season. We'll see where he varies by the end of the show. Blue Thunder moving on, but next up in round one, Hayden Altman out of Paxton, Illinois, bringing Max D to the start line. Now set to take on longtime MTA veteran, downtown Mitch Brown in the Bigfoot. Out of Pacific, Missouri, the Ford hasn't been doing so well. There you see some of the body damage done. He's looking to put Max D on the trailer early here in round one. Who's it going to be? Max D in the far lane, Bigfoot in the near lane. Three lights going down, now they're even off the start. Bigfoot's going to lead off, and what a race. Max D was hanging right there with him. Up and over the last set of cars, across the finish line. Let's go down now to our photo finish and see who won this race. Looking back at it now, your winner, Mitch Brown and Bigfoot. What an incredible race there, it wasn't by much. Bigfoot is your winner. And next up in round one, the man who made it to the finals last week, the crazy cat, Jason Wilkin Prowler, coming back to the line. The former two-time Thunder champion is ready to go. Got a fresh body on that truck. After a rollover earlier this season, however, he gets set now to take on John Katie Uxin, Bulldozer, who's been trying to make a name for himself. He's had consistent runs. Let's see what he's got here in round one. Down the straight stretch they go. They're even up and over. No man's time. Brown's out of shape, but so was the Bulldozer. Both trucks ended up moving over to the left-hand side of the track. Either one of them may have gotten the win here. I'm not too sure who did pull out the victory. Looking at the photo finish, your winner's going to be John Kenny Uxin, Bulldozer here in the near lane. He'll put the crazy cat on the trailer. And as we get set to close out round one action, the current Thunder champion, James Van LeCourt in Liquidator, coming to the line, ready to defend that flag against former three-time Thunder champion, Greg Durbin and Brutus. He is staged over here in the far lane. The legendary liquidator here in the near lane. Can Valencourt hold on to the flag? Or is Durbin going to have the biggest upset in his career? Green light going down now off the line. Liquidator's pulling the lead. Brutus starting to close the gap on him. And Valencourt, oh, look out. Brutus over in the shutdown area. Valencourt, I do believe, did pick up the win over Brutus here in round one. We're going down now to the MTA replay, trying to figure out who won the race. Off the line, you see Liquidator got the early lead, but Brutus, as they go over the first jump over No Man's Land, starts to close the gap. Watch him right here at the finish line. Liquidator gets the win and will carry the checkered flag into round two. There you see Brutus hitting that center jump and rolls the truck over. And ladies and gentlemen, the flag is still alive. Liquidator holds on to it going into round two. We've got a lot more great racing action still to come. If you want to get in on one of these events, we're about to tell you how to sign up right here on the MTA YouTube channel. What's going on MTA fans? If you're looking to get in on the action right here on the MTA YouTube channel, look no further. I'm about to tell you guys just how you can sign up to get in one of these races. Head over to the link in our description and that's going to take you right over to our Facebook page where we hold registration for all of the MTA events. And hey, while you're there, crush that subscribe button. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you stay up to date with everything that MTA is doing. From new custom truck builds to special events and giveaways, you don't want to miss any of the great action MTA has to offer. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll catch you guys down the road. Welcome back to Thursday Night Thunder, ladies and gentlemen. As round two gets ready to kick off, we're closing the gap on the September season. We started with 16 trucks. We're now down to eight. Wild Thing will take on Jurassic Attack. Carolina Crusher matches up against Monster Mutt. Then Blue Thunder will take on Bigfoot. And to close out round two competition, Bulldozer will take on the champion, Liquidator. Coming to the line first here in round two. The man turned the truck over earlier tonight in round one. The rookie, Jason Waddell in Wild Thing. Now set to take on another rookie in the September season, Caden Wilson in Jurassic Attack. Had a hard pogo there in round one, busted off a tie ride in, the crew has got him back together. They are ready to rock and roll. Boat trucks were kind of hurt in round one. What have they got in round two now? Green light going down. Off the line they go, they're even. Up and over, no man finds some big time air. Jurassic Attack turned it over. Wilson had it on two wheels. He tried to drive it out there in the far lane. Rolled the truck over, an incredible finish by both drivers. Let's go back down now to our photo finish to see who got the win. Jason Waddell and Wild Thing in the near lane pulls it out by about half a truck. He'll move on to semis. Who's he going to meet there, though? Out of Waynesboro, North Carolina, comes back the Carolina Crusher. Matt Pendergast behind the wheel, ready to take on Violet Craddock, 
Monster Mutt Poodle, the former one-time Thunder champion. She started the season off strong. She's looking to end it the same way. Had a couple Bible weeks there in the middle of the September season. She knows she wants to end it strong here tonight. Carolina Crusher takes on Monster Mutt Poodle here in round two. Green light going down. Crusher jumps the light. Poodle coming back with a head of steam up and over the car. It's Violet Craddock and Monster Mutt Poodle gets the win over Matt Pendergast and Carolina Crusher. He'll go on the trailer. The Poodle moves on the semis. And next up in round two, downtown Mitch Brown and Bigfoot. He's coming back to the line after that round one win. He is now set to take on another wicked fast forward. Here on Thursday Night Thunder, Charlie Stevens and Blue Thunder, he's ready to rock and roll here in the near lane. He's had a couple of great runs here this past season. He's looking to end it on a high note here tonight. Two Ford's going to do battle. Bigfoot and Blue Thunder. Off the line they go. It's likely the Bigfoot. Blue Thunder's coming back and is all crossed up. And Mitch Brown will get the win in the Bigfoot Ford. A rough ride there for Charlie Stevens all the way down that straight stretch. Not sure what's going on with the truck. Hopefully the crew can have him back for the October season and next up as we close out round two the flag is still alive James Vanlacourt and Liquidator now coming back to the line ready to take on John Kadiux and Bulldozer both drivers had incredible runs there earlier tonight in round one Vanlacourt's trying to carry that flag into the October season Kadiux and Bulldozer would want nothing more than to strip him of that flag here tonight green light going down now Liquidator takes off Bulldozer Kadiux is starting to pull a lead on him up and out of the car and Liquidator was on two wheels Going across the finish line, and I needless to say, Valent Court had his hands full all the way down that track. Katie Ux was right there with him in Bulldozer. We're going back to the photo finish. Your winner, John Katie Ux of Bulldozer, beats the champion here tonight. Liquidators on the trailer, and we're going to crown a new champion here tonight. But ladies and gentlemen, changing gears back to this past Saturday at Redemption. There you see in the far lane the return of UFO and James Vanlacourt behind the wheel. A hard shot there in that right lane on the rear end. Got the win over longtime rival Rich Wagner. But look what UFO did there in the far lane. The whole rear end assembly came out from underneath that truck, and Vanlacourt and team knew they were in trouble to get that truck back and continued to race. So what did the crew do? They went down into the pits and they started thrashing. Lucky enough for them, they still had the liquidator machine at the show. They ripped the whole rear end housing out of liquidator to put underneath of the UFO machine so it could continue in competition at the redemption show. The crew thrashed on it, had help from other crews. They got it all back together. UFO made it to the line. However, didn't come up with the event win, but it was so good to see the UFO machine back on the MTA circuit. And I know the fans loved it too with all the great feedback we had in the comment section. So thank you guys for that. But right now we're going semi-final racing. The rookies coming to the line. Jason Waddell and Wild Thing turned it over earlier tonight. The crew's got him back. However, he draws up longtime Thunder veteran. Violet Craddock and Monster Mutt Poodle there in the far lane, ready to rock and roll, trying to end the season on a high note. She's made it all the way to the semis. Can she knock off the rookie here in the near lane? Who's it going to be to go to the finals? Green light going down now. Wild Thing pulled a lead on the Poodle up and over the car. Some big time there and Wild Thing goes over for the second time tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The Poodle hanging right there with Wild Thing all the way down. Waddell turned the truck over again for the second time tonight. Let's go back to our replay here. Wild Thing got the Poodle off the line trying to hold out the lead. Watch right here up and over No Man's Land. Some big time error by both trucks. Waddell got crossed up on that car stack, gets the win nonetheless, but turns it over. For the second time tonight, who's he going to meet in the finals, though, if Wild Thing can come back? Downtown Mitch Brown and Bigfoot coming back to the line. The Ford's been running strong here in the last week of the September season. He draws up against John Kadiox and Bulldozer, who's having the run of his life here tonight as we close out September season here on Thunder. Both trucks are now staged at the line. Who's going to meet Wild Thing in the finals to close out the September season? Both trucks stage. Green light going down now off the line. They go. They're even. Up and over the car here. Bigfoot, Dennis J. And John Kadiox and Bulldozer gets the win over the longtime veteran. Bigfoot going home on the trailer. Mitch Brown trying to get a better run at it here tonight as he did all season long. 
But now it's all what we came to see here tonight. Wild Thing will take on Bulldozer in our final round to close out the September season. Jason Waddell turned the Wild Thing over twice tonight. He is ready to go at the starting line. Now to take on John Kadiux and Bulldozer, who's making his first final appearance ever. So he's got to be stoked about that. The rookie in the far lane. Wild Thing made his debut earlier this season. Can he get the checkered flag here tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, Bulldozer takes on Wild Thing. It's showtime here on Thunder now down the straight track. Bulldozer totally Wild Thing coming back to the end. And Waddell may have gotten his first win over the Bulldozer in the near lane. What an incredible race to close out the September season. One of these drivers is taking the checkered flag into the October season. We're about to find out who. Going back down out of the MTA replay, Bulldozer jumped Wild Thing off the line. Started to gain a steady lead on him. Watch right here, up and over the cars. Wild Thing coming back on him. Wild Thing jumped out. Bulldozer jumped up. And Jason Waddell and Wild Thing got the win. So, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Jason Waddell and Wild Thing on your first Thursday Night Thunder Championship. And now as we take a look at the overall point standings to close out the September season, Carolina Crusher, Blue Thunder, Max D, and Overkill hold the latter half of the bracket closed. Over at the top half of the bracket with tonight's win, Jason Waddell and Wild Thing move up into the top five. He is in fourth place with Wild Thing going on to the October season with the flag. But your overall points champion for the September season of Thursday Night Thunder, Ethan Wagner and Cyclops is your points champion. So congratulations to him and that team. And ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible season we had all September long. Thank you guys for being a part of this. If it wasn't for you guys, we would have gave this up a long time ago. And I truly mean that. Be sure if you haven't already, crush that subscribe button. And I'll catch you down the road. See you next time. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face, in my face. Always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms, it's what it's all about, signing autographs until the lights out, yeah. It's about that, it's about that, it's been a long time. It's about that time, it's about that, cause it's about